Land, Air, Water Aotearoa, known as Lawa, connects you with the environment by sharing local stories and scientific information. Our River of the Month videos profile the work of some of New Zealand's river heroes. See how local groups are working together to protect and restore waterways in their regions. It was not that many years ago that wastes from farming, from industry and from local sewerage schemes were being directly discharged into waterways like this. The stream has been contaminated for many, many years and has had the dubious reputation for being the most contaminated stream in New Zealand. Previously there was very little control over effluent that went into the rivers and also stock were able to roam over all the banks so the bacteria count in the rivers is very high and also erosion was a problem. It is very prone to big rainfall events that cause slips and erosion up in the delicate hill country or along the river banks. The water quality was actually good but the trend was going downwards and the main problem was phosphorus. High levels of nitrogen in the stream result in undesirable growths of slime and algae on the riverbed which can subsequently affect the insects, the fish food and in turn the fish. As the years have gone by, I think there's a real understanding now that everybody contributes to the effect on water quality. And then we started talking to the community, the farmers, the landholders and all the other agencies like DOC and Fish and Game and Iwi about what can we do to reverse this trend. There's a, a desire from a whole range of community to get involved. All with different interests, but working on a common purpose. And it's grown from a handful of people to be this much larger group that we can depend on. Because the river had been stripped of the willows, the river was exposed, so we thought we can plant trees. We have planted well over 3,000 plants to stop nutrients running into the river. Every little bit of small work is done on farms helps the water quality downstream and it will all help in the big scheme of things. We were able to do things gradually. Obviously it was quite daunting to start. We're hoping that we'll be able to eventually restore the health of the river, the resources that were there and the habitats that were there. We're looking now at the next 10 years and it's, it's really exciting because where we're coming from now is with a good solid support base. At this no time at all, it's, it's all come together. It's just been marvellous really. One of the things we've noticed is that the uh, trout now living in the river and swimming up and down outside the plant and I think that's fantastic we can see fish from our window basically. It's been a, a real success story and continues to enthuse those people who are involved on, a, on an almost daily basis. It's actually quite, quite like chalk and cheese from the beginning till now how, how we all function and look at things. We tell all of our younger ones that we are the kaitiaki, we are the custodians of this river. We are doing our utmost today, every single one of us, to try and bring it back to the pristine condition that I know and grew up with. And I think, yeah, as we move forward, it is just about, you know, the whole community taking ownership of our waterways and of our catchment and what goes on here. If the river's well, the community's well.